today I'm going to show you how to make the star dance quilt block. It's a pretty easy quilt block and it makes a really cool secondary design. So we're going to be making half square triangles to start out with. We're just going to put this one aside and then we're going to make four half square triangles uh, for each of these two colors and one square will render uh, two half square triangles. So all you need to do is um, with your fabrics right sides facing together is just go ahead and pair uh, these up. And you can do this at your machine or you can do it here and put a pin through it. Whatever is easiest for you. So now I'm going to take them to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew on a quarter inch on both sides of this line. Here's what that looks like up close so you can see. Here's my drawn line and then I've stitched a quarter inch on both sides of the line. So, um, I like to make uh, my half square triangles using this ruler. Um, it's the quilt in the day half square triangle ruler and it's my favorite. Definitely use um, your favorite. You don't have to have it to make half square triangles. It just makes it a little bit easier for you. So just use what you have. Next, I want to take and cut all of my half square triangles in half. I'm going to cut directly on my drawn line. So I'm lining my ruler up on the drawn line and then just cutting them in half like that. And I'm going to do that for all of these others as well. We are working on four and a half, we're getting four and a half inch half square triangles. So what we do is we take our half square triangle, we find the four and a half inch dash line, and we put that dash line that looks very similar to a stitch line right on top of your actual stitch line. So just like that. And then I hold it down with one hand and then trim away. And then I also like to cut these little tails off. You can wait and do it later. I just prefer to do this step right away. I'm just coming in at an angle. I never get them exactly the same, but they're usually close enough. Now I'll just continue with the rest of these until I have them all done. These guys are a little messy. You'll have all these little strings and little triangle bits to pretty up your trash can with. So half square triangles. Um, they're very delicate. In the quilting world, they would be the tiny infant baby that you have to treat very preciously. Because the moment you jerk or pull, you're gonna make this shape distort a bit and then um, your block is not gonna line up. So handle with care. So first, take your iron. I put mine on the hottest setting and I, and I use steam. And then we're just going to give these all a little press. We're not ironing, we're pressing. Um, that we're doing here is just setting the seam so that we can get um, even better half square triangles. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our half square triangle. Remember to be delicate. We're going to take our finger and separate those two seams or those two seam allowances, I should say. And we're just going to, I'm not putting my iron down onto my block. I'm just kind of opening this thing up without actually pressing. When I get it open up, then I'm gonna flip it over, make sure the seam is open, and then I'm gonna press like that. And I'm not ironing, so I'm not moving my iron all over the um the square i'm just i'm just lifting up and pressing then i like to use starch just give it a light spray and then press again one half square triangle um, i'm going to do that for the rest of the blocks
Now let's do the other colors. Boom. So now that we got our pressing done, we can move on to block assembly. And that four and a half inch square that you put aside earlier is gonna go right into the middle. So you wanna double check and you wanna make sure that all of your squares are positioned in the right place. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go so this row, this row, and this row. We need to get this pressed, and what we're gonna do is we are going to press uh, these seams out this way. We're going to do the same thing for the top row. Uh, for the center row, we're going to press the seams in. And this is alternating your seams so that we can nest them. I always like to start from the bottom and work my way up. I feel like it helps me keep my rows a little bit more organized because everything's always folding down on top of something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over right here and I'm going to take these seams and I'm going to nest them and you'll feel it, what you're doing is trying to make those seams both kiss right up together. When you've got it, take a pen and put it right there on your uh, sewn line. You're going to do the same for this other, other seam. Now we're going to go sew. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to do um, this seam allowance exactly the way I did the half square triangle. I'm just going to lightly press right here just to get this seam to open. And the reason I'm opening um, this seam is just because half square triangles already have a lot of bulk and I'm just trying to minimize that. And then the less bulk I have, the easier it is for me uh, to have my seams lined up. And then I'm just gonna give this a press here. And you can see that nesting those seams really made it line up really well. So like I said, don't stress if you're new to quilting and you don't have this yet, don't even worry about it. It's, it's not a big deal. Um, so we don't want to, we don't want to fret and make ourselves crazy, but we do, we just want to try to get it done. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one that I did just now. And I'm off to sew. Give it a little bit of starch. I usually use starch anytime I'm working with half square triangles or flying geese or anything with a triangle shape because triangles tend to just have a, a they're cut on the bias so they're just a little wobbly and get funky on you. And there you go. One star dance quilt block.